We give thanks to the Father who has made us worthy to share inheritance in the, uh, in the inheritance of the saints in life. Let us confess our sins against God and the neighbor. Most merciful God, and we confess that we have sinned against you in all our glory to thee. Thou art our way of life, thou art our way of life, and thou art our way of life. We have not loved you in all our heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we have a way of For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may the life of your will and all of your ways. Glory to your name. Amen. Thank God and mercy, I need to give you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, to strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit to keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Oh, Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout to the glory of the Lord of our salvation. Let us come before the back of the place of the The great is out of shout the hymn of Psalms. The Lord is the great God and the great King of all gods. In his hand is the cavern of the earth, and the height of the hills of his also. The sea is his, for you made it, and his hands have pointed the dry land. Come, let us bow down and the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O oh, let the day be hard to his boast. It's going to be Psalm 119, starting with verse 41. Okay. Psalm 119, 41, 41. verse 41, okay. right. through 64. Okay. Let your loving kindness come to me, O Lord, and your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have a word for those who taught me, because I trust in your words. Do not take the word of truth out of my mind, for my hope is in your judgments. I shall continue to keep your law, and I shall keep it forever in your heavens. I will walk in humility, because I study your commandments. I will tell of your degrees before kings, and I will not be ashamed. I delight in your commandments, for they are always loved. I will lift up my hands to your commandments, and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember your words, your servant, for those you have given me hope. This is my comfort and my trouble, and the rod of Jesus will I want. The pride has divided me cruelly, but I have not turned from your law. Now remember your judgments of old, the Lord I take great comfort. I am filled with the burning waves, the cause of the weary to protect the law. The statutes are not songs to me, wherever I live as a stranger. I remember your name in my eye, O Lord, and dwell upon your law. This is how it has been with me, because I have kept your commandments. You are only on my portion, O Lord. I have promised to keep your words. I am to you with all my heart. To be merciful to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways. Turn my feet toward your decrees. I listen and do not tarry to keep your commands. To the forms of the wicked and tangle me, and do not forget your law. At midnight I will promise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments, and I command them all who fear you and of those who keep your commands. The earth, O Lord, is full of your love, and so be your possessions. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. 
The Lord spoke, spoke thus to me while his hand was strong upon me, and warned me not to walk in the way of his, his people, saying, Do not call conspiracy all that this people calls conspiracy, and do not fear what it fears, or be in dread. But the Lord of hosts, him you shall regard as holy. Let him be your fear. Let him be your dread. He will become a sanctuary, a stone one strikes against. For both houses of Israel, he will become a rock one stumbles over, a trap and a snare for the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many among them shall stumble. They shall fall and be broken. They shall be snared and taken. Bind up the testimony, seal the test teaching among my disciples. I will wait for the Lord who is hiding his face from the house of Jacob, and I will hope in him. See, I and the children whom the Lord has given me, who dwells on Mount Zion. Now if people say to you, consult the ghosts and the familiar spirits that chirp and mutter, should not a people consult their gods, the dead, on behalf of the living for teaching and for instruction? Surely those who speak like this will have no dawn. The word of the Lord. I choose to be God. Cancel 13. Glory to you, the Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise, Lord to you. Glory to you, the fragrance of all the land, who will praise you now and exalt you forever. Glory to you, the son of your temple, and the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, the seed of the king of cherubim, who will praise you now and exalt you forever. Glory to you, the Lord of the depths, and the high of all of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We will praise you and I will be you forever. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God for them is that they may be saved. I can testify that they have a zeal for God, but it is not enlightened. For being ignorant of the righteousness that comes from God, in seeking to establish their own, they have not submitted to God's righteousness. For Christ is the end of the law, so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. Moses writes concerning the righteousness that comes from the law, that the person who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that comes from faith says, Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is, bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and so is justified. One confesses with the mouth and so is saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim to him? Proclaim him. And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. The word of the Lord. Eighteen. Splendor and honor and king and power of yours by right, O Lord our God, who have created everything that is, and by your will have you created and have your name. And yours by right, O land of the slain, for with your blood you have redeemed it for God. For every family, language, people, and nation, a king of priests to serve our God, and so to him who sits upon the throne. And Christ the Lamb, that you worship and praise the name and surrender forever and forevermore.
God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, on the name of Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, come again to the ghost of the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last. Amen. Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Be sacred people, people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and now and always. Day by day we bless you. Break your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. We put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. We stand our hope in vain. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the witness of your apostle and evangelist Matthew to the gospel of your Son, our Savior. And we pray that after his example, we may with ready wills and hearts obey the calling of our Lord to follow him. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, the King eternal, whose life divides the day from the night, turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness, throughout the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and the love of you to be honored your name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray that the church would be one holy Catholic and apostolic. Guard and guide the Anglican Communion, the Episcopal Church, the Diocese of West Tennessee, St. Andrew's Parish. We pray especially for our leadership, Archbishop of Canterbury, Bishop Curry, Bishop Phoebe, Canon Sharon. We pray for our vestry. Enrich and outreach our worship, those who make it all possible. That your hand would be upon our prayer work and study. That you would draw us into true communion with you. Pray for our outreach partners, those who may serve before the meeting. We ask you that your kingdom to come into our world. We pray for your hand on leaders the world, in our nation, our state and local leaders, the poor, the sick, the suffering, the oppressed, those affected by war and natural disasters. In the Anglican cycle prayer, we lift up the Diocese of False Bay in South Africa. In our prayer cycle, we pray for Emmanuel Church in Ripley, and vocations to holy orders, and blessings on seminarians. We pray now for your needs and concerns. God, 
Oh, that's the Bible verses. We hear our blessed servants to give you a number of things. For our goodness and loving kindness, bless us to all of you that faith. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your unending love and the gift of the world of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercy. With a truly thankful heart, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving ourselves to your service and our walking before you, and holding these righteous all our days. To Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom we feel in the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory through our own ages. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Thank Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.